Ladies and gentlemen, now we are going into the baking section. This is absolutely amazing. Our Bamix can not only do soups, smoothies or uh, ice creams, it can also do some nice pastry, some nice dough. We will see it immediately now. We will prepare a short crust uh, pastry for a nice cake, so for an apple cake basically. So we have here 300 grams of flavor, we have 200 grams of butter and 100 grams of sugar, which we'll put into the slicey because we are going to do everything with this nice slicey which you see here. Absolutely amazing. With all these accessories together, you have your kitchen all in one kitchen machine. I like to call it my kitchen robot because it does everything. So let me start. We have here flour. We already uh, took 300 grams, so we'll put everything inside here. All right. Okay, perfect. Now we have some butter here. We already cut a little bit down, so to make sure we don't get a big thing here. All right. You can put everything inside this bowl and this machine will do everything for you. Let me put this away. All right. Now we have some sugar, which we'll put later on in, but we also do have this egg yolk, which we will put inside this bowl. So everything is away now. A breeze of salt inside as well. You can do this in the beginning, it's better. So just put the cover on. We go with a Bamix directly onto the gear here. And then high speed, but we push first a little bit. And then we just keep on going for a while. We can see on the surface what's happening. I don't open the pusher, otherwise the flavor will come out. I'll have a look at it. Yes, it looks quite good. All right. So what we have here is already a nice dough. What we need now is a little bit of vanilla sugar. So this is basically one sachet of vanilla sugar. We'll put everything in here. Then we need 100 grams of sugar. So we have the sugar over here. We'll grind this down first because unfortunately at home I only use uh, cubes, sugar cubes. So I'll take my processor put 100 gram of sugar in this bowl and then I just granulate it. Cover. Very easy, very simple. The reason why I'm shaking it is because otherwise it becomes very quickly into or it turns directly into powder sugar, which I don't really want. So this is already enough. I open it and we have the sugar already ready here. So we just put it inside. All right. So we have everything together. So we put the gear on top again and go further and push it again. Very simple and very, very easy. You don't need the power in your arms. Your power is all in the machine. Absolutely amazing. And it's so fast. So, here we are. Our dough is ready. Here you see it. Perfect. Now we'll pull off the blade. put it away and then we'll take this out. 
Very nice. Look at this nice. Wow. This looks absolutely amazing. Let's put it out here. And then we'll <clears throat> pull it together a little bit. All right. So, perfect. So what we need to do now, we just do it with a little bit with our hand. All right. You can also use a little bit of flavor if you like. But this is done. So we'll put it on the plate and just keep it here for a few minutes and then we can move forward. So now we have done the dough, the short crust pastry is ready. Now we're going to do the apple because it's going to be an apple cake. So what we have here, we use the same slicey, but this time instead of using the blade, the chopping blade, we use this kind of plate with the slicer. So every slicer has got a straight side and a curved side. So just make sure that the curved, uh, the straight side is in the middle, then just lay it in and pull it down. Just be careful that also these slicers and roughs are very, very sharp, eh? okay? Then put it into the slicey, and you see it's turning around. Now we'll put our transmission part on top, and then we're going to put the apples inside here and just push it down and slice them. Very simple. So we put the apples inside. All right, take the pusher. And then just start to slice it. With one finger, it is done. All right. Next, some more apples inside. Of course, you have to cut it in small slices just to make sure that it fits inside. And then you just push it slowly down. Very gently. Next. Put the pusher up again, and then just slowly up, down, and so forth, and so on. So let's just have a look how it looks like, you see, and we have our apples done perfectly. Now what we need is also some nuts. So we'll use the same slicer, so you will see it's quite interesting, just as much as you need. Just grind them down, directly in the slicey with the blade, close it, Go with your Bamix on top of it. Very simple, very easy. Let me see. Okay, a little bit more. Very simple, all in one kitchen machine. Absolutely amazing. And here we have our crunchy nuts. You can do it a little bit more finer if you like. I love it when it's a little bit crunchy, but obviously this is, of course, on your own taste. You can do it the way you want. All in one machine. You do the short crust dough, you do the apple sliced, you do the nice nuts grinded down, everything in one machine. And now what we want to show you is the final thing, of course, you prepare the cake now, but what we have done already, because we were preparing already one prior, you came here, all right? So we have our oven just finished a few minutes ago. So let me take this out. That's quite hot. All right, now you see the final cake. Absolutely amazing. Now we have the cake out of the frame, so we'll cut it down just to make sure that we get a little bit. Wow. Okay. Then we turn it around a little bit. Very nice. All right. So let's see how lovely this cake looks like. Okay. Wow. Look at this nice, lovely cake. Perfect. You will enjoy together with us. Before we eat this, we're going to make some cream, nice cream together. So please have a look at this. Okay. 
we'll take the aerator, which is the A blade, put it on our BAMIX, click on, and then we go in gently with a low speed, just start slowly down there and then angle it and then just go up and down and up and down. Just take it very simple, very easy. Look at this cream we can create here. Absolutely amazing. The most important when you use cream, it has to be really cold, huh? out of the fridge. Look at this lovely cream here we create. Absolutely amazing. Look at this nice cream. Done also with the Bamex. All in one kitchen machine. Ladies and gentlemen, how is this amazing? Don't you think so? Give it a rinse. So, now we have cleaned our Bamex within five seconds. Can you imagine? And it's ready for the next task. We have here our nice cream, lovely cream. Of course, if you want, you can put a little bit of sugar in it, but I would recommend to you to use powdered sugar because if you use regular sugar, granulated sugar, it is easily going down again. Huh? Now we decorate this a little bit. We have some nice fruits on top of it here. Tuck, and here we are. And now I will enjoy this nice little cake. And you can, of course, try by yourself as well. Let me try this cream a little bit. Look at this nice cream. Mmm, wow. A little bit of this apple pie here. Apple cake. Mmm, wow. Amazing. Okay. One more thing. One more thing I forgot. If you wish, just take a little spoon and you just decorate your cream with cinnamon. This is absolutely delicious. Enjoy your cake.